Hi, welcome to this section of the Differential Equations Tutor. And in this section, we're going to continue working where we stopped in the last section. We did a great introduction of what is a differential equation. We worked one equation all the way through. We got the general solution. We got the specific solution. We talked about initial conditions. You guys are well on your way to really uh, mastering this material. Now, what we're going to do now, we're not going to learn anything new. We're going to work some problems related to what we learned in the last section just to sharpen your skills a little bit. So here we go, start with something uh, a little bit easier. What is the order of the following differential equation? t to the fourth power times the third derivative of x with respect to time plus t times dx dt minus x is equal to t to the seventh power. Uh, now, by the way, before we even begin, you see, this is a differential equation that is where you start getting into problems solving these things. You know, in the last time, we, we could just simply get the derivative by itself and then integrate a bunch of times. Well, here, you've got a bunch of problems. You've got t's out in front here. You've got two derivatives instead of just one. So this equation involves the third derivative of some quantity plus the first derivative here. Uh, and there's just a, it's a general, just a nasty thing. So we're going to devote a lot of time in this course to getting our our skills up where we can do these kinds of problems. But for now, forget about that. What is the order? The order is just simply, what is the highest derivative you have? In this case, we have a first derivative here. We have a third derivative here. So the order is 3. That's a third order differential equation. All right. This is another one here. What if we have x to the eighth plus, whoops, times dx dt plus the seventh derivative of x with respect to time is equal to x plus t to the ninth power. So what is the order of that differential equation? So we have a first uh, derivative here. Uh, there's no derivatives over here at all. This is the seventh derivative. So this is the seventh order. Okay? I really think that's enough of these kinds of problems. I just wanted you to see some more complicated differential equations to realize that, you know, a lot of times these equations are not going to look as simple as what we talked about there in just the last section. This is a pretty complicated little differential equation. So, the next kind of problem that I want to do is I want to verify that x of t is a specific solution, that's solution, uh, to the ODE, ordinary differential equation. So, you know, just like in algebra, I mean, just, you know, let's just say here, what if you have the equation, you know, uh, x minus 2, you know, is equal to 4. x minus 2 is equal to 4. You all know how to solve that, right? You know that x is equal to 6 because you can take the 2 and add it to both sides and x is equal to 6. And you could probably do that in your head. And you know that it's equal to 6. Why? Because if you take this, this answer that you got and you take it and you plug it right back into the equation, it should, it should equate, right? So if you put it in there, you'll get 6 minus 2 is equal to 4. You know, is it, is it equal to 4? And so you say, yes, 4 is equal to 4. So that is, that is a solution to the equation. And you spend a lot of time doing that in Algebra 1 Right? Because the concept of having an equation and having a solution was foreign to you, but you knew that if you take 